Hello and welcome to Paid versus Free Amp Sims. This is the chain that I'm using in today's video. The guitar I'm using is the PRS Villa semi acoustic. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. And that is going into my Boss NS2 noise suppressor, and then into the Boss TU3 tuner, and then from there into my Focusrite 18i8 interface, and then into Reaper. So let's go and check it out. Right, so I'm in Reaper, and this is the first of the clean guitar amp sims. Now this is the paid amp, it's Scuffum S gear, okay, and this is the Duke for a particular model. There are different amps that you can choose from, the Duke, Steeler, Jackal, Wayfarer, and Custom 57, that if I go through them, that will be a different video. Okay, but look at the settings I'm using, and you're gonna get to hear this later in the video. Now, one thing I have done is I've used the same impulse response on all four channels, on all four different amps, okay? For both uh, paid ones, clean and dirty. If you're new to guitar playing, when it comes to amp sims, and even real amps, because a lot of people use impulse responses with real amps these days, impulse responses are very high quality today and these ones are there by Celestian, they will make it more of a level playing field, having it in all the same. When it comes to the sound, the cabinet, whether it be real life or digital in this instance, is 80% of the sound. The amp will have its own character, but really the sound comes from the that situation of the cabinet, the room it's in, and the microphones used and what distance the microphones are from the cabinet mesh. They are a big deal. So that's why I've used the same one on all four. Now, why, why have I picked this particular paid amp sim? And before I go any further, I'm not paid by anyone. I have never been paid by anyone in any of my videos to do anything. I own everything that I show, and so it's my opinion. In my opinion, and I've played a great deal of paid amp sims, but in my humble opinion, this is the best of a lot. The reason I think that is because, one, it's really easy to use. You're not blinded by science. When you're a guitar player, as you will no doubt know yourselves, if you're guitar players watching this video, you just want something that you can get a sound quickly with and then get on with it and play. Because in the real world, we want to get our ideas down, possibly record them, maybe produce a song. The quicker we can get that down, with an idea for better. For me, speaking from my perspective, when I hear a sound in my head and I, I find that sound, I can play that part better. I just feed off of that. That's one of the reasons I really like this plugin because it, it's not overwhelming. The second reason I like it is because it, it feels like playing a real amp. It's easy under the fingers. It, it, there's no lag or delay. Can't say that about a huge amount of amp sims. So that's another reason why. And th this one has been out for a long time. Right, okay, we're going to move on to the free clean amp now. This is gonna be the clean free amp. And this is it here. Now this is a really old, well this has been out for a long, long time, many years. Poulin, I believe if I'm not mistaken, French Canadian maybe, uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I've been out for a long time. These were like one of the early pioneers of making amp sims. And they're really good for free freeware. There are many really good free amp sims out there and I could have chosen any one of them, but I just decided to opt for this one today. Because the other amp sim had a boost button on it, this doesn't. It has a focus button, which is kind of getting there, but it's not really a boost. So I just put this in front of it. Now, all these plugins are free, because that's the idea of, of this video, uh, free against paid. So I've uh, backed off again a bit, and it's just giving it a little bit of um, creaminess in front of the amp. Then this is a free impulse loader, NetIR by STL Tones. Check them out, go on Google, uh, I'm not going to put links below because I'm sure you're capable of checking these things out for yourselves. It's really easy to find. Just put STL Tones, Ignite Amps, and 
there you go. You'll, it will pop up and you just download it. It's free, it's really good. And again, I'm using the same IR. And then after that, really nice free delay here. Delay by Intergrav Audio, six sample. Get it, it's fantastic. And it's free. <laughs> What's not to like? And then this is my favorite, probably, free reverb. I think it's absolutely fantastic and you'd be insane, uh, in my opinion, not to want to grab this as it's free. Okay, it's that good. Have a look at the settings I'm using here. Just pushed the knob slightly and using the clean channel backed off the gain, the drive. Yeah, okay, and we'll hear this later in the video. Let's move on to the drive channels now. This is the paid one, same amp sim. Scuff amps. This is loosely based, in my opinion, on a mess boogie. The sound, you've got that creamy sound to it that is famous. I am using the same impulse response. Again, just check out all the settings that are on here. Then the free version, Let's have a look at that. And the free one is this one here. Now, in the free world, of guitar, this is king, in my opinion. Neil Ramp Modeler, Mr. Stephen Atkinson, who is the inventor, the creator of this, uh, deserves as many plaudits as he can get going his way because, quite frankly, the man is a saint. Uh, to offer this to the world for free, to be able to get as many different clones of real amps, pedals, and rack gear which is what you can do. And what I will do is I'll put a link to a video where I have the download for this and also Tone Hunt, which is the website that you can download loads and loads and loads of modeling of real amps. The majority of them are actually excellent. They're really good. So this is the amp that I'm using, just to show. It's the Carvin MTS 3200 head. There's no cab. Cab I'm using is the same one as all the others. The Greenback 412, the 421, and a 121 by Celestian to keep things nice and equal. Let's move on to the demonstrations. If you're enjoying watching this video, please consider smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel so that I can keep on bringing this free content. So, in conclusion, what do I think? Well, out of the two, I think both paid and free plugins are great. Would I recommend S Gear by Scuffer Amps? Absolutely. I think it is a fantastic amp sim. You have five different amps within the plugin, you have some very well crafted effects within it, you get some good quality IRs with it, although you can import your own third party ones as I did in this video. And the reason I like it most out of all the paid plugins, as I said in the video, is that the sound, playability, and 
a feel under the fingers, it feels to me more like a real lamp than any of the other models I've tried. That's my own opinion, and I'm not sponsored to say these things or anything, it's just my opinion. I've been playing a long time, I've got real amps, and I've played the majority of the different paid ones, and they've come and gone. And this one has been kept because this is the one that I'm most impressed with. That is my take on S-Gear. And there is a trial period on it, I believe. I would imagine that's still the case. Why not download it, try it for yourself, and see what you think? Everyone's different, and we all come from a different angle. So, free plugins. Certainly, there is a plethora of free plugins. Not all of them are fantastic, but there are a lot that are very good quality. But Neural Amp Modeler is definitely the one out of all of them, I think, that would appeal to most people purely because Stephen Atkinson has created this wonderful bass for us as guitar players for free, Tone Hunt, which I will link the video where I have a download for both Neural Amp Modeler and Tone Hunt at the end of this video. I think that the last count, there were over 7,000 uploads. Now, they're not all amps. There are pedals there, which are very high quality, uh, different pedals by Boss and other manufacturers. And there's rack gear on there as well. But the majority are amps. And some have IRs with them. Some, the majority don't. Uh, so you can use your own third party IRs. Some have pedals in front, some don't, some are just the head, which is ideal if you want to use your own IRs. But the pure scale and variety that is there just makes this a no-brainer. Everyone should have Neural Amp Modeler. What would I choose, one over the other? Well, I think if you can afford Scuff Mess gear, then I think it's a great investment. But why not have the best of both worlds? If you can afford Scuff them, amps get it but also get new ramp modeler because it's free if you can that's what i would do but i'll leave it up to you it's your decision i would love to hear your opinions in the description box below this video do you have a paid wear amp sim if so which one do you use and why do you use it what, what, what is your what's made you think that that one is for you and also with freeware which amp sims do you use do you use a new ramp modeler? What do you think of it? Or do you have any of the others that are available, like the, uh, by Le Pou? Why do you like them? Also, you know, give some examples. It would be lovely to have a conversation going about this subject because I know that it's a, a very emotive subject and everyone will have their own opinion. So it would be lovely to hear yours in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Serbs out.